In today's movement sequence, I'll be taking you through a full body flow. Now within this flow, we have different positions of our spine, including some hinging movements. So think about doing this maybe before a workout that includes deadlifts, single leg deadlifts, etc. Just to start practicing these movements within your body. All right, let's go ahead and begin. For this movement sequence, begin standing at the end of your mat here, taking a nice big reach overhead with the arms, and then making your way down to the floor. We're gonna lower the knees and take a brief rest position. Start to settle into your body, into your spine for this practice. From here, we're gonna create spine waves. Let's go ahead and tuck our toes under, leave the arms where they are. You're gonna inhale, cat your back, forward and then right here extend and exhale go ahead and press back as you inhale exhale to sit down let's go ahead and continue inhale to rise up and forward catting the back into this beautiful wave through extension and then pressing back over the heels just try to notice how much space you can create in that spine as you move your body forward opening and then pressing back here keep your breath flowing inhale to rise exhale pressing the hips opening the chest inhaling back to the heels exhale to pause next we're going to hover those knees creating a similar shape starting from a crouching position press your body forward through cat into spine extension hold from there, hips to ceiling through a downward dog, and then lowering the knees back down, pressing through cat. You can exhale, extend, inhale back, take a brief exhale, and then inhale forward. Think about, again, how much space you can create in that spine and this full expression of this wave through your body. Take the knees down and take a brief rest position. We rising up, we're gonna go ahead and sit back onto our heels with our arms in front. Draw your right hand behind your head and then we are gonna create an inhale to open on the right side and then exhale back down. Keep your left arm active in towards the floor and your tail very planted on your heels. You're gonna feel a beautiful rotation through that spine as you create this breath. And let's go ahead and bring our body back to center. Four times on the left here. You're gonna to inhale to open, expanding, and then exhale back forward. Go ahead and create two more rotations here, following your breath. Let's make our way to a standing position. Now that we focused on rotation and extension and flexion of our spine, let's focus on hinging. Hands are coming behind the head, feet are parallel. I want you to press your hips behind you, feeling tension in your hamstrings and lots of work in your back to maintain that back extension. Think about pressing your hips behind you and driving them forward here. Focus on your body's ability to maintain that back extension. Keep it active and your core tight. Excellent, let's go ahead and practice a single leg version of that. Taking your right foot behind you, I want your arms by your ears nice and long. You're gonna slowly hinge that right leg behind you and keep your balance here. Then come back and tap your toes. Arms stay right by your ears. Inhale as you hinge. Exhale, driving the hips forward. Notice that your body is long. You're reaching through your back foot. You're reaching through your fingertips. You're drawing your core in and stabilizing through the single leg hinging movement. Excellent, let's go ahead and come back to another round of the good mornings here. Inhaling, pressing the hips, exhaling forward. 
just feeling more of this back extension and then hip extension as you press back, weighting those heels, finding your balance, driving forward. Now let's set up for the single leg version with the left leg behind, arms by the ears, draw attention to your body reaching away from you, hinging here and then coming back to tap the foot. Go ahead and inhale, create your hinge, and then exhale, coming back up nice and tall. This is a lot of balance, so make sure that your hips are square, your arms have tension, and you're really feeling this lovely stretch across your limbs to the opposite sides of the room. Nice work. Let's go ahead and come on to the mat here in a half kneeling position. We're going to focus on rotation while stretching our hip flexors, which is really going to get a little bit more of our psoas muscle. Now I've got my right arm up, right leg behind, left hand on my left knee. I'm going to rotate as I bring my body forward. You can hold here and breathe. Feeling this beautiful stretch up and across your right side. And just remember to remain really tense in that right arm. You're still actively reaching that arm towards the ceiling. Go ahead and inhale as you take your body forward to twist and then exhale to press through this left heel. Great, let's go ahead and transfer for the other side. Go ahead and take your right leg forward, left leg behind, right hand on right knee. You're gonna tuck your hips here and then actively reach your arm. Go ahead and take that same rotation as you lean forward, breathing here. And then rotate back to your center. Again, you can inhale, rotate, exhale to press back up. You're gonna feel a beautiful stretch from the arm all the way down on this left side through the trunk and through the front of the leg. Next position, we're gonna be stretching the hip flexors, activating the glutes, and getting some lumbar rotation in the process. Go ahead and lay down on your stomach here, and I want you to either keep the arms long or bend them like I am. You're gonna come up and over with one leg, keeping your chest facing the ground, and then gently come back. Now, you can reach that foot up and as high as you can comfortably for you, but for this video, I just wanted to show you how you could just gently tap across, activating your glute and also rotating your lumbar spine. You can inhale, reach the leg, tap the foot, exhale, rotate back at center. Great job, you are all done with this full body flow. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope your body is feeling amazing after practicing these movements. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have comments or questions, drop it in the box below. Thanks so much and have a great day.